This is a series and the topic is family planning or career. Welcome to the second episode. Today we talk about facts in your life to make a clear decision if you want to go for a career or you want to create a family. Because as I said, you can have it both but not at the same time. Ankita, let's call her so, she was a client of mine. So she worked in a big corporate and this corporate was actually the client. So every employee, manager was allowed to come for some sessions. So Ankita came and she opened up and she wanted to have a family and she also wanted to continue in chasing her career. She said, I you know, came a long way. I worked really hard since six years and I got promoted last year and I will get promoted most likely next year again. If I create a family now, all that is gone nowhere and I work for nothing. And I sat down with her and I said, okay, let's see the facts. And I invite you to do the same. Number one, my question was, are you happy in your married life? Is that a person you are with, which you love and you also learned how to manage with each other? Because if you have a child, it will be an add-on. An add-on in terms of there are a lot of turbulences a kid can bring. It's about all kind of decision making for a child. And if you learn to deal with each other, you will have an easy life. Next point is your age. It's also a fact that the biological clock is ticking. That is true. So if you don't want to have a child in the age of 45, you know, nor 20, so you have to find out when is the right time according to your age. So Ankita was already 36. She didn't have much time left, I would say, to be, you know, still a young mother. And not everybody wants to have a child only in the age of 40 or 45 or whatever is the possibility. Another aspect in life as a fact is the financials. What are the figures? Is it doable to stay back, let's say, for three years <clears throat> and not having the second income or a reduced income? For this, what about your bucket list? Are you on the adventurous mode, this trip, or would it be okay now to be on the back seat for, let's say, at least three years? And don't get me wrong, life will not stop. You can do a lot with a child. It's amazing. And you can do it your way. But still there are some, some limits and restrictions, I would say. So are you okay at this point of your life to not follow your bucket list and do all the adventure trips, or, I mean, whatever you have in your bucket list, apart from the career, what we are talking about. As I said, life will not stop, but you have to prioritize. And that's a very important point. The last, but not the least point is about managing and planning the company. That means if you're an entrepreneur, you can sit with a business coach and realize what are the, the points right now which are existing and you can take care of. So let's say creating an automatic system in order to still run your show. If you're an employee, of course you can make up your mind on, on your own, first of all, of course you should. But secondary, you can sit with your manager, leader, boss and find out, create a plan to keep them in the loop as well. This was the second episode. Now the third episode is about how to create a support system. Because we all know you can do a lot, you're amazing, but you can't do it all. Not all alone at least. So follow me for the third episode. Stay happy. Write me your queries. If you want us to help you as well, you see also the email ID written in the um, description. You can call us, there's also our phone number, and I hope I see you soon.